Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business, and today I'm going to talk about QuickBooks Enterprise and help you determine whether this is the right software for your business. So, one particularly useful thing about QuickBooks Enterprise is the size of the companies it can scale up to. So QuickBooks Enterprise can have up to 40 users, and this is a desktop software, so we're really talking about installing it on 40 different desktops. Um, and so you can have multiple users per desktop, they just can't log in at the same time. So this can be uh, software for a truly probably mid-sized company. Certainly the very large small companies um, will have no problem. Um, in addition to the user limitations, you can track up to 1 million items. Items within QuickBooks include employees, customers, vendors, and so that is a substantial upgrade uh, from the lesser QuickBooks desktop product, which is uh, QuickBooks Premier. Another great reason to use Enterprise is for their advanced inventory accounting. So you can track your inventory by both location and bin, and so you can have a uh, unlimited number of, not quite unlimited, but up to you know your total items as we just talked about are going to be up to a million um, so each location you have each bin you have is an item so you can have virtually thousands and thousands of locations with bins tracked within each of those locations and so very useful for tracking uh, inventory scattered around multiple locations uh, you can use barcode scanners with QuickBooks Enterprise for uh, quick data entry uh, you can do inventory assemblies which is essentially taking pre-existing inventory, assembling them together, adding labor in there, and calculating automatically the cost of this new inventory that you've assembled. So perhaps consider it very kind of light manufacturing. Um, and finally, QuickBooks Enterprise can use LIFO inventory accounting, which is last in, first out. Uh, most small business accounting software only uses one method, average cost method. Um, QuickBooks Enterprise can use average cost, or you can switch to LIFO. Um, so if you stick around after we talk about pricing here in a while I will go into QuickBooks Enterprise and show you a few of these features um, but for now let's just look at the broad overview of the program. Um, so another reason to get QuickBooks Enterprise would be to, to issue a large volume of in invoices that are exactly the same but that you need to invoice them to many many different clients so perhaps you're a, a waste management company and you have to charge you know hundreds of clients fifty dollars a month you can do all of those invoices at one time with QuickBooks Enterprise's batch invoicing feature and finally QuickBooks Enterprise has a fixed asset manager built in this is very unusual for a small business accounting software um, so with this fixed asset manager not only can you calculate depreciation you can calculate your gain or loss on the disposal of the assets and you can track locations and you can track multiple types of depreciation so you can depreciate it using one method for taxes another method for book another method for adjusted minimum tax I think there are about five different methods you can use all at the same time so powerful fixed asset manager so these are things that QuickBooks Enterprise can offer you that QuickBooks Premier cannot. So some of the reasons you may not want to use QuickBooks Enterprise. Um, if you're a very small business, QuickBooks Enterprise is probably overkill. It is quite expensive. Um, if you're a smaller business, if you only need five um, licenses to have them installed in five different computers, I would seriously look at QuickBooks Desktop Premier. It is also incredibly powerful software. It does not have all the bells and whistles that Enterprise has, but it's very good software and it is much much cheaper than QuickBooks Enterprise. If you prefer a cloud-based software I would encourage you to look at QuickBooks Online. Um, so even their top-of-the-line online product which is QuickBooks Online Advanced is only $180 a month and with that $180 you get 25 users included. So that is just a fraction of the cost as we're going to see of what QuickBooks Enterprise is. And finally, if you need to consolidate companies, so you're a pretty large company, you have subsidiaries, you have a parent company, and you need to consolidate all of these into one set of financial statements, Enterprise will help you a little bit, but it really does not do the entire consolidation for you. You can uh, export financial statements for multiple companies into a single spreadsheet, and then you can use that spreadsheet to make all your eliminating entries by hand. Um, so that is certainly useful, uh, but there is other accounting software out there. Um, probably the the least expensive is Sage 50 Cloud um, from Sage and that can actually do the consolidation process 
for you. So if you need to consolidate companies, if that's a, a, an important feature for you, then I would probably not go with Enterprise. Um, although, as I said, Enterprise it does have some useful features around consolidations, but it does not do the entire consolidation for you. So just a few other pros and cons that we haven't touched on yet. Um, with QuickBooks Enterprise, not only do you get unlimited support, which you also get with QuickBooks Premier, but with Enterprise, you get a dedicated support representative, which is huge. So every time you have a problem, you call the same support representative. That support representative, if you have a lot of problems, they're going to get to know your company, get to know your abilities, and they're going to really be able to help you very quickly. With other QuickBooks products, QuickBooks Premier, you're going to call the general number, and you're very unlikely to ever get the same representative twice. So that's a huge plus um, to purchasing Enterprise. A couple of downsides with purchasing Enterprise. Um, it is a desktop program which means you're going to have to install it. Um, if, you're in a, if you're looking at Enterprise I'm assuming you're going to use it on a you know probably at least more than five desktop computers so you're talking about a network installation of your company file and then an installation of the program on all of the uh, separate desktops. I've done this personally um, and it was a little bit beyond me um, I'm not an IT professional uh, I did manage to get it done with just two different computers but if you're going to do this on a major network you're probably going to need IT professionals to help so if you already have an IT person that's probably not a big deal if you don't plan on you're gonna to have to plan on hiring somebody for the installation of the product um, another reason you may not want QuickBooks Enterprise is it is not by its nature a cloud-based program. As I said, it's a desktop program. Now you can pay QuickBooks Extra to host the program for you, in which case you could access it via the cloud from anywhere in the world, um, but that is a rather expensive add-on. Um, another option would be to simply go with a third-party hosting service that will host whatever software you wish. Um, so that would be an option as well. But if you want cloud cloud-based, it's going to cost you a little bit more um, to do that with Enterprise. Now Enterprise itself is far more expensive than QuickBooks Online and then you're going to have to add to that cost of Enterprise the cost of hosting. Um, so before you host Enterprise really make sure you can't use QuickBooks Online Advanced um, for what you need. Okay so the biggest downside of Enterprise as we've talked about is the price and so there are three different levels of Enterprise, the most popular is the Platinum Edition that has all the features uh, we've talked about today. Uh, the Diamond Edition has that, plus it has a little bit more of an advanced payroll. Platinum does include payroll, which is a nice benefit. Diamond has a more of a full service payroll. Uh, gold is missing a few of the features we've talked about today. So uh, pricing for one user per year for the Platinum Edition starts at about $2,100. Keeps going up significantly till you get to 10 users. At $6,500, if you go over 10 users, it jumps all the way up to $9,200 a year. But it stays at that price all the way to 30 users. If you need more than 30, then you're going to have to call and get a custom price. So fairly expensive. Um, again, compare this to QuickBooks Online Advanced, which is $180 a month and includes 25 users. So $180 a month for QuickBooks Online Advanced compared to $9,200 a year for the Platinum version, for the Platinum version of QuickBooks Enterprise. Now, this is just the desktop version. If you want to have it hosted on the cloud, they have several uh, different levels of hosting depending on how much uh, how much memory you need in the cloud. So this is core, this is their most basic um, cloud hosting function. Um, it's priced by the month, but you do have to enter annual contracts still. So it starts at $232 for just one user. Again, compare that to QuickBooks Online Advanced is $180 for 25 users. So substantially more expensive. It goes up to $1,000 a month for 10 users and anything above 10 users is going to be custom priced. So, Enterprise, by far the most expensive QuickBooks uh, product, but if you need some of these great features, it could well be worth it. So let's talk a little bit more about some of these features. So let me pull up my QuickBooks Online program. Okay, so here we're at the dashboard. So let's talk about some of these um, really cool inventory features uh, that, we've, that we've mentioned. So if we go to our uh, lists here, we can look at the inventory 
site list. So as we purchase inventory, we can assign them to different locations. So here we have the Atlanta warehouse, and these are all of the different bins located at the Atlanta warehouse. Then we have a distribution center, and all of the bins located at the distribution center. So these are places you can assign the inventory when you purchase the inventory. And now let's look at some of the advanced inventory reports. So let's go to reports and let's just go to the report center. And then for inventory, um, we can look at our advanced inventory report. So we have a quantity on hand by site. We have a valuation summary by site. Um, so let's look at the, let's run our quantity on hand by site. So here we have the types of different, all of our different inventory types we've set up. And here is how they're located across our various locations. So very cool. There's also a report you can run that's going to show it all the way down to the bin. So the buy all of your inventory by bin and by location. So you can uh, really useful in tracking exactly where your inventory is. Some of the other features, again, um, don't really have to demonstrate them, but you can use LIFO accounting instead of average cost. You can hook it up um, so that you can scan inventory with scanners that'll put the information in uh, rather than having to enter it manually. See some very powerful inventory accounting features. Um, one of the other great things offered with Enterprise is a fixed asset manager. So let's take a look at that. So if you go to company here and we go down to our manage fixed assets, it is going to open a really separate program here called our fixed asset manager. And this looks very much like other fixed asset managers that you typically buy separate from your program. Okay, so every time you open the program, it is going to ask you about synchronizing and give you an update with the synchronization between the asset manager and the program. So here I'm viewing all of our assets. We haven't entered any assets yet. If I go over to look at the assets, I can say, yes, I want to add a new asset. And this is all the information you can give for the asset. Warranty expiration dates. Does it need to be included on a personal property tax return? Purchase order number, serial number. Um, down here is where you'll give it the cost. And then you can track depreciation on six different depreciation basis. Okay, and so here you select your depreciation method for your federal tax return, for your alternative minimum tax, for your adjusted current earnings, which doesn't really apply much anymore, um, your book accounting, your state accounting, and then if you have another accounting uh, set of uh, depreciation schedules you want to keep. And so really, really just detailed fixed asset manager. Um, when you dispose of it, you can do that. Dispose of the asset through the fixed asset manager and it'll automatically calculate your gain and loss. Now, once you do your assets in the fixed asset manager and you exit the fixed asset manager, um, let's say no, we don't want to save that asset, is going to then synchronize with your QuickBooks uh, Enterprise account. So really nice, something that's pretty rare for a uh, pretty rare for a small business accounting software. Most of them do not have built-in fixed asset managers. Most small businesses sim simply wait for their tax accountant to do the tax return uh, and then they record whatever depreciation uh, is recorded on the tax return. So um, very nice features of QuickBooks Enterprise. So what's next? Well I hope you found this review helpful. If you've decided that QuickBooks Enterprise is the right software for your business, I encourage you to sign up for your QuickBooks Enterprise. There is a link below this video that you can click that'll take you uh, to the sign up page for QuickBooks Enterprise. Um, if you're not quite sure yet, I would first encourage you to compare QuickBooks Enterprise to your other desktop options from QuickBooks, which is Pro and Premier. Um, those have a lot of the same features for substantially lower price. The biggest difference is that Premier only allows five users. If you want to look at all of those differences in detail, we do have an article linked below this video to our QuickBooks versus our QuickBooks Pro versus Premier versus Enterprise article. And the last article I would direct you to is if you want to compare QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online. So online is much, much cheaper, provides a set number of users for one price. QuickBooks Advanced is 25 users. Um, if you want to compare the options available in 
QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, I've provided you another link below this video to our QuickBooks Online versus Desktop article. So if you're not sure yet, the Enterprise is the software for you. I highly encourage you to check out these other options from QuickBooks to find that perfect software. So again, my name was Tim Yoder from Fit Small Business, and I hope you found this video useful.